Yo, what up? How you doing? It's Mike Cardi with MJ Life and Annuities, and I want you all to check out my link below with Ethos Life Insurance. Yes, if you've been looking for coverage, I got it for you right here, right from the conference of your own phone. Yes, from the conference of your own phone. There's a link in the description box below. I want you all to click it, or whatnot. If you've been looking for term or whole life coverage, yes, it'll prompt you to some uh, medical questions. I want you all to fill that out. It'll get you a quote. From there, you'll get some coverage or whatever, right from the conference of your phone. You you don't have to worry about any type of medical exams or anything like that. No type of pushy sales guy coming to your door. Yes, you'll be able to get coverage up to $20,000 to $2 million of term life insurance. And if you can't get covered for term life, also you can get some whole life for true stage life. All right. And they got you covered there. All right. Up to 95% of my clients get covered right from the conference of their phone. If you're looking for a living will, yes, we got you covered. Ethos Life has all that right there. For you okay if you need to lay out everything that's supposed to be done at your burial you can do that right with a living will with eat those life all right click the link below you won't be disappointed it's my car with mj life and annuities and i got you all right sign up what up how y'all doing yes yeah, so um let's get on here and talk about you know the importance of life insurance you know i just want to go into a little spiel or whatnot my father called me the other day and was like you know mike what's going on um you know son you you need to, you need to get back into your life insurance and everything and get back to you know helping people out and making sure that they are protected with their families and stuff because um you know we don't know when our time is gonna come you know and you know he was going on to say this because we just had a recent friend of the family that had just recently passed away and this is the upstanding brother a real you know upstanding pillar in the black community um, and you know he just did anything to help out the community back home in North Carolina all the way down to starting a school all the way down to starting an insurance agency also a recreation center and things like that you know in the community so you know he was one of those brothers that's like gone too soon because he was really impactful and I feel like a lot of people didn't really get to feel the true essence of him because you know he had a lot of knowledge and everything and he's one of the people that actually inspired me to become an insurance agent um you know just through you know him knowing my personality and everything like that him and my father have been friends for over 30 years and you know he recently passed away like i mentioned and this was like a totally unexpected passing you know he went in for a surgery and you know was to go get a uh a bypass surgery to get some stents put in you know um you know because he has some blockages in his coronary arteries and stuff you know also some other um you know pre um pre-medical history that was you know that was high risk as well you know diabetes high blood pressure cholesterol the things that kind of run all in the same trend or whatnot usually when people have diabetes they usually have cholesterol and high blood pressure because those arteries have been tore to pieces by that sugary sandy blood that's flowing through the veins and so it presents complications and healing and things like that and even in a surgery so went to the surgery and you know, I was a little, called my father a couple of days before, you know, like, you know, I'm kind of nervous or whatnot, but, you know, it happened, you know, my family member had, had this surgery and it pretty much, you know, helped them live an extra, you know, 12, 12 plus years and all that. So, you know, that was the bright side, you know, him looking at being optimistic about the situation. Um, once they got into the surgery and all that, um, he did pretty good as far as getting through but you know when you're doing a major surgery um like a cabbage where you're placing stents in the heart and stuff it can be a lot of stress on the body and everything and so what happened was uh he got out he was pretty stable and all that but they was trying to get his blood pressure and stuff back up um they could not maintain the blood pressure he was in icu and on all kind of um cardiac drips and things to keep his pressure up. We call them vasopressants or, you know, pressors 
to raise up the blood pressure and it just wasn't coming then somewhere it took a turn or whatnot and his body went into straight liver failure and stuff so you know my guess was i don't have an official report but you know maybe his body went into cardiogenic shock that's shock that's whenever the heart can't meet the demands the blood pressure demands of the body or whatnot and so the the body starts to to, to go into organ failure and stuff because it's not enough oxygen from the blood being transported to the organs so you don't have adequate perfusion that's all i'm saying when i say that it's perfusion you have to get enough oxygen to the to the proper organs so your body can function properly so he went into liver failure um and so, you know, pretty much like his, his last blood pressure reading, I think his family said it was like 70 over like 40 something or whatever. And so that's when they kind of knew that the end was coming. And, you know, we didn't know anything. We was all optimistic waiting back home to kind of hear, you know, him coming out of the situation, out of the surgery. But that never happened. We got, you know, our unfortunate phone call that he had passed away, which was a total shock to the family. Um, and also his family too and the community and so I say all that to say you know if he wouldn't have had things in place for his family and for his life um, his, his children his, his ex-wife and things like that they could be in the total situation of um, picking up all of his debt and everything but the fact that he had a life insurance a couple policies in place um, it allowed the family to be able to, you know, carry on to, to provide a nice, elegant funeral, you know, and let it be real uh, communal because he was a community man um, and allow for everybody to be able to, you know, be at peace or whatnot at the same time while not leaving a bunch of debt behind. And so that's the one thing that's very pivotal for us uh, in this life or whatnot, especially you know, um, people that don't have life insurance is that you want to make sure that you're leaving your family at peace and that they're not in a burden situation or a uh, place where they can't pay their bills because they're trying to pay for um, medical bills and, and things that you may have left behind. So I say that be, uh, to say this, I feel like that everybody needs to get at least a simple term life policy or a whole life policy term life is more so for people that have less comorbidities and less uh, pre-existing conditions and things like that because they're offering a small amount for a large uh, amount of money in return and those that you know have some pre-medical condition pre-existing conditions for you all to be able to get some whole life insurance that way you can at least ensure that your burial or your cremation and things are being uh, taken care of and things like that this is something that is very pivotal and that we need to start implementing in our households or whatnot because you know it's the, one of the quickest ways to, to to put your family and elevate them in, in, a, in another financial bracket by being able to do this if nothing else being able to keep them out of a financial situation by you know holding on to the debts and things you know this is something that you know my family is starting to get more into um, I'm doing my best to educate as much as possible um, so that way we can all be in um, good positions to leave our family to uh, be better because we always want our generation to be next uh, the next generation to be better than the last generation I don't have children right now but I best believe I have an insurance policy in place for my partner Partner, also for my family to be able to do the things they need to do in the event that something tragic was to happen to me. I don't plan on dying, but we never know whenever our time is here upon this earth. And so we have to do our best to make sure that we are um, putting things in place so that the people that are coming behind us aren't left with that stress, that burden, that weight, that financial, you know, financial situation that could possibly put leave them in a situation um, so that's all I really got to say you know if you have not please make sure you check the link or whatnot get your free quote today you know MJ life and annuities and also you know you can reach out to me by also um, putting your information into the box 
uh, the questionnaire box down below, the survey box below, and I will be able to reach back out to you. I'm gonna be setting up a Calendarly link pretty soon here, that way people can auto book with me and we can be able to get you with some services. I actually work with over um, 12 different carriers currently. I'm working on some other ones. I'm not just a one um, trick pony in this. I actually am an insurance agent that works with different brokers of different types. So we can work with any types of policies, whole life, term life, universal life, even get you some annuities and things like that that may can pay you back in the long run in your retirement years. So like I say, um, y'all go ahead and hit up the links below get your free quote today and if you like what you see you can go ahead and put in your information and you can set yourself up with your own life insurance right on that same um, free quote link in my on my website here so please check it out just know that I love you all love you all um, you know get you some life insurance people and uh, everything will be alright uh, and I will talk to you all later bye